I'm going to be having a little talk video about Funko Pops! Yay, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about Funko Pops today um, because I actually had a few questions on my Q&A about people asking me if I know what Funko Pops are, if I would ever collect Funko Pops, what I think about Funko Pops and I'm sure some of you out there are Funko Pop fans or have Funko Pops or um, you know, maybe you're a movie collector and you collect Funko Pops that correspond with some of your favourite movies or Disney fans probably got some Funko Pops now I personally have no Funko Pops and this is kind of sad but I, I, I said this in my q and I said um, I resist from buying any because if I bought one I know I'd want some more and then I have nowhere to put them at all uh, and yes but they are really as for collectible figures i'm not one of the people who is big into collectible figures um a lot of people said you know oh you know you've got the disney infinity characters which i love uh, and i have them set up on my shelf and stuff but they also can um you know double up as being part of a game so that's kind of why i kind of think oh yeah well they're great things they're a beautiful figure and they can be in a game so yeah i'm definitely not one of them people who really collects things that don't do much as one would say that it's just for purpose of um, you know, to be a figure, I suppose. Uh, but Funko Pops are incredibly great looking, so they're one of the things that would be my weakness. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not big into that, but Funko Pops are awesome and they look great and they have characters that I love and would want the Funko Pops of. Um, so, yeah, just going to talk to you about Funko Pops that I would want to get if I was going to get any and ones that I would consider, you know, getting in the future. And one that I've always wanted is Agnes uh, from Despicable Me or, or Despicable Me 2, whichever release she's under but Agnes I love her she's one of my favourite characters Despicable Me is one of my favourite movies ever I absolutely love it um, and yeah I'd want Agnes she's one that I'd really want I'd probably also quite like a minion alongside but I would really want the Agnes Funko Pop I think she's adorable and so cute and I've always kind of had my eye on that Funko Pop then of course they released the Frozen line and I was like what you can't do this to me and they look very cute and very pretty I'd probably only want Anna and Elsa but then again, Kristoff does look cute too. I'm not so keen on the Olaf one. But Sven also is very cute. But, you know, they're very, very cute and I like them a lot. And I thought about it. I considered those. I was like, ooh, frozen Funko Pops. But no, I held off. It's, it's all good. But they do look really, really nice. Um, another line of series that I think looks so good is the Beauty and the Beast ones. You've got Belle, of course, which I love Belle. But then Luminaire and Cogsworth look awesome. Especially Cogsworth. I think he looks so good. Um, and... Yeah, so I think they kind of look really good. Beauty and the Beast is another one of my favourite... It, well, it is my favourite Disney movie. So, you know, that'd be a fair excuse on that part. But, well, it's my favourite Disney movie, so these are... But no. Um, the other ones I love are the Disney princesses. I think they all look awesome. I love Ariel and Brave and all these ones. But Ariel and Brave are two that I really have my eye on that I really like. Um, they, they, I like, you know, all the kind of princess lines, I've seen different versions of them, you know, with Funko Pops you can get like special editions like metallic ones or like see-through ones. I'm not really a big fan of the see-through ones or like, I don't know what you call them specifically, I'm not a big fan of those but they're like metallic ones and shiny ones, they look really cute. So yeah, those are Funko Pops that I would have my eye on and want to get. And a Funko Pop that I would want to be made, this is a cool question, if you guys like Funko Pops, I'd love for you to answer this question. What is a Funko Pop that hasn't been made but you'd love to see be a Funko Pop? For me it is Pascal. Uh, I'd love to see Pascal as a Funko Pop. I love Pascal, he's my favourite character. If they had one and he looked really cute and good, I'd probably get him. Honestly, I'd have him as a little mascot and put him on my shelf, but they don't have a Pascal one. Um, so yeah, maybe one day they will, I don't know, but I'd love to see a Pascal. Oh, also another one that I really would want would be Toothless. I love Toothless. I think he's so cute and he's one of my favourite little characters, so I definitely want a toothless one. Now moving on to something that I also really think is really cool and I'd really like, and it is the Funko Pop Mystery Minis. Now these are like little blind boxes, so you don't know what you're going to get, but this has like a double-edged sword, um, because, is that the right term? I don't know. Um, because you can open up the box and get a really cute little figure, but then you can also get the same one twice. Um, so at the price they are, that's a hard risk to kind of take. Um, it's kind of like blind bags but they're boxes and you get a proper figure so it's, it's a bit difficult but I suppose you could just then sell your figure but I don't really know how that works. But anyway, uh, the ones that I would want if I was going to do Funko Pop Mystery Minis but I also think this would be a fun video series like having Mystery Minis and opening them up and it just being a fun kind of video so I don't know what you guys think about that. 
But the ones I'd want would be the Disney ones, of course, the Pixar ones, which look awesome. Also, the House Train Your Dragon 2 ones, which obviously I love because they've got Toothless and all the other dragons, and I'm a big House Train Your Dragon fan. Um, I don't know if they've got mini ones, I don't think they have, but also the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. They look awesome. Uh, they do look really good and they're a really cool idea for Halloween. I think they've just maybe released around Halloween, but they seem really cool. It's like they're little blind boxes, you get a little figure and you don't know what you're going to get. It's just got choices on the back and it's like a surprise. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I've never had any fun codes, but they're kind of my thoughts on them. Ones that I would want to get if I was gonna, ones that I wish were being made, and the mystery mini boxes. So let me know down in the comments below if you've ever had any fun codes, what fun codes have you got? Have you got a video of your Funko collection? I'd love to see it. Link it below if you have, or you know, just let me know and share it with me. I'd like to see uh, what fun codes you have. If you haven't, I'd love for you if you want to join in the discussion, make a video response and link it below. Um, you know, whatever. It'll be just good fun. I uh, definitely like having seen people who you know make video responses and we see the chat going. And maybe you could show yours too if you've got any. If not, you could just kind of do what I did. Uh, yeah, so let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on Funko Pops. Do you like them? Do you have them? Do you want any? Which one would you want to be made that hasn't already been made? Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I certainly had some fun here. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you are a newbie. And I will see you then. Goodbye, guys.